Hi everyone, it's Saki Senpai and today I'm going to show you how I get these photorealistic renders. Now this is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial, it's going to be more of a time-lapse of my workflow, but I am going to highlight some of the key points throughout the video, so stick around till the end and I hope you enjoy. So here I'm using some Megascan assets to quickly set up my scene and I prefer to use minimal assets while making up-close scenes like this so as to not overload my computer and it also helps with the render times. I also use an HDRI from HDRI Haven for an overcast lighting. I rotate my HDRI in a way that only the sky can be seen. And here I'm putting in an additional spotlight to really get the sweet, sweet caustics out of that Dragon Ball. Yes. Yes, sir. I also put in a cube and scale it all the way up so that it fills my entire scene. I'm now going to use the principal volume node to get the fog that I want. Mm -hmm. 
So now I change the color from uh, filmic to filmic log and that way I can get a higher dynamic range in my render which will help me later on when I color grade. I'm gonna put in an empty and use that as my focus object for the depth of field. Here I realize that the empty is positioned way off from where I want it to be so I fix it. Now I'm just going to use a denoiser from the compositing tab and render this out. Then I'm going to open this up in Photoshop. I'm first going to convert it for smart filters and then I'm going to use a camera raw filter on it. Here I just adjust each of the sliders until I get the look that I'm happy with. And that's it. That's how I get photorealistic renders in Blender. Thank you to everyone who has watched it till the end. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. So leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see that. I'm Saki Senpai and I'll see you in the next one.